Hey guys, this is part two of engine tuning with a mass airflow sensor. Part one is linked to in the video description. So in this video, we're looking at comparing two dedicated products, the Movichip Automath versus the AFC Neo. These products, they are specifically designed to manipulate the mass airflow signal to the engine to alter the fueling. So the basics of this uh, process and why you do it, why you won't do it, again, it's in part one, link to in the video description. So go check that out if you're not sure why you would want to be doing it. So the AFC Neo versus the Automath, what are the key differences between these two dedicated products? So the AFC Neo uses a map which puts TPS, throttle position sensor, against RPM. The Automath uses map, sense, map sensor only. AFC Neo is... Offline analysis with data log. Automath is an auto, it does it, tunes the engine automatically, or you can do it manually if you choose to. AFC Neo has built in camshaft activation for VVL VTEC. Automath does not. Uh, Automath has a customizable MAF clamp, so you can, you can set the maximum uh, MAF voltage you want to send to the ECU. You can also uh, set the minimum MAF voltage you want to send to the ECU. And you can also uh, clamp the MAF signal if you're using a, a blow of atmospheric blower valve uh, on your engine. Uh, the Automath has an onboard power supply so you can add a sensor to your engine if you need to. Um, basically this is for cars which don't have a MAP sensor from the factory. The Automath will power any 5 volt MAP sensor. Uh, the Automath integrates with Innovate Motorsports wideband sensors so it can use the a five, 0 to 5 volt output on Innovate products which will uh, so the Automath can understand the air fuel ratio of the engine. AFC Neo has its own display and control unit which you mount inside the car and the Automath is controlled via Bluetooth on an Android smartphone when you need to change the settings. Uh, like I say AFC Neo it's a unit that you mount inside the car's cabin and the AFC, uh, the Automath is mounted in the engine bay. You don't need to run any cables inside the car or add anything to the inside of the car. So tuning with the AFC, Apex AFC Neo, uh, in the top right, there's a link to a video uh, which goes into what's involved in the process, but I'll just do a quick summary here. Again, like I said, it's TPS versus RPM. So you can see here, this is the display that you get. You've got a RPM along the top, 20 different RPM points. You can scroll left and right by using these buttons. Uh, you set your high and your low throttle, and then you uh, plus or minus uh, the settings according to the RPM. It's very unlikely that it's gonna, yours is going to look like this, like a minus 50 and then a plus 6. All these numbers are going to be, in my experience, all pretty much the same. Uh, so... Like I said, it's a back and forth process with uh, the AFC Neo. Uh, you go out, you make a data log, download it to your computer, have a look on it, have a look at it. If there's any cells which are out of range, then you find the corresponding cell here and you plus or minus so to get the uh, uh, AF AFU ratio that you want. So this is a TPS here. So high, vo high throttle is going to be 4.5 volts. So if, for example, we're like 14.5 at 5,200 RPM, and we want to make that sort of 12, so we'd find the high, high throttle position and 5,200 or the closest to it here, and then we will uh, increase this number to get, uh, increase this number to increase the fuel in, so we make the engine richer to reduce this number to what we want. Basically, that is it. And then tuning with the Automath, you can you, you can do it in the same way if you want. Make a data log, make an adjustment to the multiplier. Or you can do it automatically. So this is the this is the app when you open it up. If you you only need to do this when you're making adjustments to, to the uh, multiplier, otherwise you don't need to do anything. You just get it in the car and drive, no control units, nothing uh, needed. So we just connect to the MAF, connect to the Bluetooth router. This is what the app looks like. At along the top, we've got MAF, MAP, CAL, SET. So we'll just go and do each of these uh, menus now and show you what's involved. So we, first of all, we'll go to CAL. And in this menu, we have got uh, the option to use the wideband signal coming from our Innovate Motorsports product or not. Uh, if we, This is going to show the AFR. 
uh, coming from the uh, lambda sensor. This shows the correction of the of the um, of the MAF uh, signal at the moment. We've got low load AFR section here, so we put the target that we want here, plus or minus, and this increases or decreases the target AFR. So if I just roll this again, so again, so if you plus minus here, the target AFR reduces. If we increase it, target AFR increases. And this is the current multiplier that we're using. So we're just going to make this down to whatever we make it down to, 15 or something. Okay, so we'll set it at 15. At the moment, the engine is running with 17.4. We use wideband, we select ES. And now you can see that the auto math will start increasing the multiplier to get the target AFR to match what to get the engines AFR to match the target so in this case 0 0.8 is enough if we just click no if we just switch off the wideband it just reverts back to what it was before so if we go to set menu and this is where we store the multiplier so once we switch it on and we found the uh, multiplier that we need for the AFR that we want we just plus or minus to get this number this number here to match this number here and this is what stores the number in the uh, automath unit and after you've done that you don't need to do it again it's stored inside the unit when you start the car the next time it's going to have those units in there so we'll just close the car and set now we'll go into the map menu so this is the readings from the uh, manifold absolute pressure sensor so you can see it's seven point it's a percentage and the voltage of the signal that's coming from the map sensor and then we've got map split and this is where the the map changes between high and low throttle high and low load specifically so here we've got it set at 24 percent so when this the signal from the map sensor is 1.2 volts 24 percent of its range if it's higher than that, we'll go to the high load setting, high load multiplier. And when it's below that, we'll go to the low load multiplier. And here we've got BOV stabilization. Uh, so if you want to set when the map, when the manifold absolute pressure sensor is below a certain value, this will output a minimum MAF signal that we want. So this is good for blow off valves. So you're not running rich or don't cause any check engine lights in between gear changes. I'll put another link in the video, pluses and minuses of Bob's, um, basically this facility here, um, cures or fixes or eliminates or reduce, massively reduces the issues in using a blower valve on, the, on a uh, modern turbo engine or any turbo engine with an atmospheric valve for that uh, matter. So this is the uh, MAF signal menu. Um, so this is where we go just to check what the uh, AutoMAF is doing. You can check your wiring here, check everything is honky-dory. Uh, we've also got a MAF lock feature, which you can clamp the maximum max maximum voltage that the uh, AutoMAF will send to the car's ECU. You can also clamp the uh, minimum voltage it will send to the ECU. I'll do another video on the um, these features, um, the MAF clamp, how you use it. And then to switch it off, we just hold these uh, red boxes down. So when you, if you've got menus open, the first thing it will do is just close all those menus. And when it's done that, it will come to this screen and then just hold it down again. And this will disconnect the Bluetooth. Very important to shut it down properly. So in summary, the AFC Neo uh, tunes the mass airflow sensor signal by using the TPS and the RPM. The AutoMath scales the mass airflow sensor signal. Uh, the AFC Neo has to be tuned manually, which can be quite time consuming. The AutoMath, you can also tune it manually if you choose to, or you can let the unit do it automatically. So that's it, guys. That is a comparison, a quick comparison of the AFC Neo and the uh, Movichip AutoMath. As always, thank you for watching. Please vote in the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. If you want to get more product videos from uh, Movichip, if you want to see what products we've got in the pipeline, um, what updates we've made to the products, you know, we'll put be putting them on uh, YouTube. Also check our website, we'll be putting, uh, putting latest news up there as well. The links are in the description. Until next time, take it easy. Thank you again for watching 
and I'll see you again next time.